guys, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with some MLB 2K12 and some My Player Mode. Today we're going to be starting it off here with Chris Rose. Going to be pitching here, still in double A ball, but hopefully that changes here pretty quick because I'm able to accomplish more and more things after every game that I play. And I think that's something that I like about playing as a starting pitcher too is there's a lot more skill points that you can get. And you can build yourself up a lot quicker because I think the computer understands you only play what one out of every five games so there's a lot more opportunities for skill points I gotta hand it to 2k sports they definitely got it down right here but of course we're gonna be so, uh, seeing some Timmy Timmons right after this so you guys hold on tight Timmy Timmons coming your way here a little bit later and I like how we've got uh, both sides you know we've got pitching and we've got hitting That's something that uh, I do for my player mode because it's definitely true that in both instances, you get more practice with it. It's kind of like running a drill or something, and it carries over in all the other modes. Like, for example, with everything that's been going with Chris Rose, I've been able to get uh, franchise mode down a lot better with pitching. I've been able to get uh, your request, 30 wins with 30 teams, stuff like that has been working a lot better because my pitching has been there as well. So uh, I got to admit, Timmy Timmons has helped out with hitting. Chris Rose is helping me with pitching. I think it's pretty sweet, but there we go, get the strikeout here on the 12-6 curve, which I feel like I haven't been able to get uh, too many strikeouts off of that lately here, but that's because it's my weakest pitch, and it's something that I've got to work on here pretty soon, so I definitely will be doing that. Now, last game ended up being my first loss here with Chris Rose, and that was kind of tough for me to uh, take here, but you can uh, tell if you haven't already that I went ahead and I took the gloves out of Chris Rose's back pocket. I didn't think there's any point having batting gloves. And I thought, you know what, maybe if I keep them, they're going to be my good luck charm. But the game after I thought that, that ended up being something that, well, I lost. Um, but anyway, so I'm liking here in Double A just how much success that I'm having. I can tell that every time I finish a game and I spend some skill points, it does help me out considerably um, and does enhance my performance. But... I don't know how we're going to do in the major leagues because it's uh, it's going to be something that's very, very different, of course. I'm going to be going up against batters who are a lot better than I'm going to find in double A. Now, I've only got three pitches. Neither of them here are really anything to get too excited about. So it may be something here once I do hit the majors. I'm going to start getting demolished pretty quick. My ERA is under 1.5. My walks and hits per inning pitch, I think, is at .9 right now. So I'm doing a phenomenal job. There's absolutely no way, though, I can expect to have this type of success in the major. So I guess I need to enjoy this while it lasts, which really isn't going to be that much longer at all. That's okay. kind of want to see Chris Rose here in his Indians uniform going up against uh, major league teams. I think I'm not a fan of minor league baseball. I'm not going to lie. It's not like, uh, I don't know, it's not like I'm against it or anything like that, but it's just... This is a very different style of play. You know, when you, whenever you look at the hitters, they're all pretty much the same. When you take a look at batting stances, what they're going to do. Uh, when you are playing as a position player, the pitchers all pitch the same way, it seems like. And I don't know, it's easier to pick up on stuff. So I kind of like the challenge here, which is why I'm going to be uh, hanging with this here. But the way this game is going... Chris Rose is doing a phenomenal job. You can see we have a one to nothing lead here in the fourth inning. Uh, with two outs, we may be able to get out of this inning here pretty quick and be able to keep my streak here of throwing a no-hitter alive. That one goes on the ground. Second baseman making a move, getting it over to first. And we're going to head into the fifth inning after this. So Chris Rose doing a great job building up some skill points. Now here we are in the sixth. We're going to be skipping the fifth. Uh, really not too much happens right there to get excited about. It's another one of those innings like I've had here quite frequently where everything seems to be going my way, so that's okay. Two-seam fastball is something I've used pretty frequently now, which is sitting in the yellow, which means I probably shouldn't be throwing it. Now, I do have to be careful because my weakest pitch is the 12-6 curve. And if I keep throwing the 12-6 curve, the computer's going to be getting some hits off of this, and I might end up blowing our lead, which I don't want to do. I'd like to be able to come away here with a win. I mean, we are up three to nothing now, so my team is starting to hit the ball a little bit. And it looks like we're gonna come away with the win if I can keep this going. But there's a lot of baseball ahead of us here. Three innings, it's very easy for a team to score three runs in that amount of time. In fact, when you actually take a look at a box score, 
Um, there are times when a team can get all of their runs in one inning and still end up winning the game. So, I don't know. And, and the thing is here with my player mode, it's not like I have that much of an effect on how my team plays offense. So, I got a plan for the worst. Just figure that my team is going to be able to put anything together by way of the bats. And, you know, if they do get something, heck, go with it. So, still in the sixth inning here. Ah, strike one. Now, I'm throwing the two-seamer high a lot more because I started to realize I was putting together uh, a pattern that the computer was starting to hit a lot more. And I think that's what caused me problems. In the last episode here with Chris Rose, it's just that, um, you know, computer was figuring things out. Now, it seems, too, as I get later in the game, the computer has an easier time of being able to hit the ball um, and kind of put it in places. I mean, I don't want them to be hitting the ball. Like, the gap... It's been crazy. Nobody's hit a home run off of me quite yet. But then again, like I said, we are in double A ball. The expectations that I have for these players are not going to be anywhere near the expectations that I have for the major leaguers. So what if we see a whole bunch of home runs? That'll be kind of embarrassing, but that's all right. One of the things I like about pitching with Chris Rose, though, is I can show you guys every single game. I mean, it's one every five days. And there's always something that I could put together here in a video for you guys to be able to watch. That's what's cool. There's always going to be a strikeout, maybe a double play. Who knows? Maybe I'll even be hitting. It's fun. I like this. It's a nice change of pace. But this pitch here, too far inside. Computer laying off of that one here for ball one. And that kind of surprises me because the computer likes to swing at those fastballs that are low and inside here with left-handed hitters. That time we got him on a 12-6 curve that ends up being too low to be in the strike zone, but that's what gives me that little nudge here um, to be able to get that strikeout. All right, eighth inning now here. Computer hitting this one up the middle, and that's going to put a runner on first base. You know what? That was the first hit of the game for the computer. So that's all right. This one going down the left side. That's going to end up being foul. Hopefully I can get the ball on the ground here, which is why I'm going to be throwing it low. I usually do throw it low. I'm going to try and see if I can get the double play, see if we can get us out of this eighth inning jam here pretty quick. Chris Rose has been able to do a pretty good job of being able to determine if it's going to be a fly ball out or if it's going to be a ground out. But it seems like when I need it to be something, it doesn't work that well for me. But a strikeout works too. I'll definitely take that. Now, if I am able to get a double play here, and this is going to go ahead and uh, hit the eighth inning. Absolutely surprised I have not been pulled yet. The computer usually does pull me uh, around this point. But I guess if nobody uh, from the opposing team has been uh, allowed to get home, why pull me? All right, so that's going to put runners on first and second. Now with one out and somebody in scoring position, we could be looking at a run. But this one goes deep in the left field, and it's going to be caught. And the computer is not going to advance. Not tagging up or anything like that here. So that makes it so one out here in the eighth inning. And I can get out of this jam here pretty quick if I play this uh, just right. It's going to be a fastball here outside for strike one. You can see the computer's getting a little bit of a lead here. I'm not too worried about them going over to third. What I am worried about here is this one going into center field. Computer was playing deep. That's going to allow one runner to come home. The other runner that we had on there previously is going to go ahead and stay there. So that's going to be a three-to-one game. Come on, I got to get the out. <sighs> now, I'm afraid I'm going to get pulled here now in the eighth inning. But the thing is, one run over eight innings, I would I mean, I'd love to get that out of a starting pitcher. I would be happy if only one run is allowed in an entire game by somebody here. But, oh, man, I'm so lucky the computer didn't swing at that one. But that's going to be a strikeout and end the eighth inning. So here we are in the ninth. Let's get things started off here with this pitch. That ends up. Going foul. It's all right. All right, so the computer is keeping me in here, so this means, of course, that I do have an opportunity to get the complete game. I haven't had a complete game since my very first appearance here with Chris Rose. Absolutely surprised that took place on the first one. But out number one comes off of that ground out here, so we're on our way to be able to get the win. A nice bounce back from the loss if I can get this one. This one goes deep. Computer is not able to get to that one here, so we are looking at a single. Means the tying run is now at home plate. I gotta make sure I throw the ball low or try to get it out any way that I can. It's gonna be strike number one on the fastball. 
So since I do have three pitches, I do go with the fastball a lot. And I think this holds true with any pitcher um, that I have here um, on the first pitch. But anyway, that one goes high. Right fielder able to get underneath that one. Tries to throw it over to first for the out. But don't get the double play. All right. So this could end here pretty quick. Strike one with that fastball. Computer has had a hard time being able to hit it, but it is 85 miles an hour. Not the fastest, but that's something I'm hoping to work on here pretty quick. This one goes foul down the right side of the field here. So two strikes, no balls on this one, and I'm going to hold true to what I usually do. I don't want to pitch right at him here. Swinging and missing. That's going to be a strikeout to end the game. So I do get the complete game, which is nice to be able to have that. That's Not only do I get the extra points, but there's more skill points I can accumulate through just playing the game here as normal when I last that long. 1,440 skill points in this one will be well spent on a number of things here. So uh, can't wait to be able to post this again here. So in a couple days, you'll be seeing some more Chris Rose. Stay tuned for Timmy Timmons next. I just got to upload it. But thanks again, you guys, for watching. Really, I appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already. You guys know you can also find me on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks again for watching, and as always, I hope you guys have a good one.